Will the political parties kill Senator Fernando Estevez's Bill 377? The bill would allow candidates to run as independents in a third column on the election ballot. Now, according to Guam Election Commission Executive Director Maria Pangalinan, an independent candidate has never run in any Guam election. Well, that's probably because the law favors Democrats and Republicans, and they know it. The way the law is written today, yeah. yeah. And I think uh, Fernando's bill kind of removes that barrier and uh, makes it uh, more accessible for someone to want to run as an independent. While Republican Party Chair Jerry Chrysostomo says Estevez's bill would add more diversity to elections and may help boost ailing voter turnout, he said the bill would make it tougher for the two parties. As chair of a political party, an organized political party, um, I won't necessarily agree with that. I mean, I'm already competing. I, I already have to deal with the Democrats. And what do the Democrats think of making it easier for independents to run? Well, we don't know. Democratic Party Chair Senator Regine Bisco Lee declined to comment on this story, saying it would be premature to comment on the bill before the Democratic Party reviews it. But one Democrat elected to the 35th Guam legislature says if Bill 377 was already law, he would have done things differently. I likely would have run as an independent. Uh, that was something I was really looking at. Rajel and Estevez agree the law, which requires independents to garner a percentage of total votes cast to move on to the general election ballot, means running as an independent is a lost cause. It was made to be impossible. It just wasn't feasible. It would have been nearly impossible to win. Low voter turnout may mean voters are turned off by the options or optics of how the political parties conduct their business as usual on Guam. I don't think everybody on Guam is either Democrat or Republican. You have people that are not, so they should be represented. There are a lot of people out there who I think are tired of uh, petty party pol politics, uh, you know, sort of this fighting between the different factions. Ironically, for Bill 377 to succeed, it requires the support of both Democrats and Republicans. While Estevez says his bill won't see the session floor this year, he hopes the 35th legislature will move it along, and he admits the bill faces an uphill battle, but he believes voters deserve better options. The more ideas, the better. For Guam's News Network, Chris Barnett reports.